Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to solve this equation. Now, what can you see in this? We have a square plus a equals to one 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 two 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 two. Omg! It's such a huge number. A very large number on right hand side. Left hand side is a very very simple term of a, but right hand side is a huge numbers. You have very huge number here on right hand side. Of course, we know that eight there are eight ones and eight twos. So eight there are eight times ones and eight two times eight times one. Is that right? Yes. Okay. So how how can we do it? How should we solve this particular equation? So what can we do in this is you can let again you can assume now substitute so you can let <clears throat> let this one 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 equals to t so i'm going to write that one 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 so there are eight times one is equal to t all right Okay, now, so I'm going to write that back. That's one, 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 one. And how many twos we have? Eight twos. So that's two, 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 two and two, two. <clears throat> All right. So you have eight times one and eight times two. We can rewrite this in terms of T. So how to do it? course you know that <clears throat> this is 8 times 1 so you can write it as this 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 so you have 3 3 6 and 8 ones and you can have 8 zeros 8 times zeros 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 zeros and then plus 8 times 2 8 zero eight twos so you can write it as two 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 so we can write this as this now <clears throat> so this can be written as i'm going to write that one 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 into how many zeros do you have eight right three three six seven eight you can write it as into 10 to the power of 8 plus you have the same thing 2 2 2's 2 2 2 2 2 all right but this 10 to the power of 8 <clears throat> how can you write this this looks very ugly oh we cannot bear it how how can we solve it it's it's a very huge number it's a very large number with eight zeros so how can we solve that how can we write that in terms of t so we can do it like this so i'm going to write it 10 to the power of 8 can be written as as you know it has eight zeros with one one two three four five six seven eight zeros so this can be written as nine 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 six seven eight nines plus one so you already know that ones one 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 is t so this is nine times t nine ones nine times t plus 1 so you have written this in terms of t 10 to the power of 8 in terms of t let's let's write it back again so we're going to write that here we're going to write this equation for 1 1, one and 2 twos, which is equal to in terms of t so this is t t into 10 to the power of 8 plus two t's right right the same thing i'm going to write it here t into 
10 to the power of 8 plus 2t okay so from where I got this 10 to 10 to the power of 8 plus 2t you have t plus 10 t times 10 to the power of 8 plus 2t that's that's what is the equation okay now this now 10 to the power of 8 I'm going to substitute it as 9t plus 1 so we have t into 9t plus 1 plus 2t <clears throat> I can multiply this 9t square plus 2 plus t plus 2t which is equal to 9t square plus 3t this can be written as you can take out 3t common so that's 3t into 3t plus 1 <clears throat> all right now what's what's our equation back a square plus a is equal to this is that right so this we have found that it was this and we solved it to this so let's write it back a square plus a it will be a square plus a take it the other side minus so you have a square plus a is equal to 3t times 3t plus 1 take it this side a square plus a minus 3t times 3t plus 1 equals to 0 how to factorize this now you have got an equation left hand side we shall find two numbers such that the multiplication is negative 3t into 3t plus 1 and addition is plus 1 of course it is very simple and easy to find out these two numbers are what you have the two numbers as first is negative 3t and the other is 3t plus 1 so when you cross multiply why because if you do this a times 3t plus 1 minus a times 3t will give you a that is a so we have succeeded again we got a that is plus a <clears throat> right okay so what are the, what is the solution for this we have two factors that is a minus 3t times a plus 3t plus 1 equals to 0 okay so let's solve it further so you have the two factors as a minus 3t and a plus 3t plus 1 equals to 0 so the, there are two cases two cases we have to solve for them the first case is when a is equal to 3t and the second case is when a is equal to negative 3t negative 1 so how can we solve for that <clears throat> yes you have two cases to solve one is a is equal to 3t and the other is a is equal to negative 3t negative 1 so you get a1 as 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 and here a2 is negative 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 4 that's it Okay, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for joining. Bye-bye. Take care.